Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I want to continue with my How I Shoot Photography series. This is going to be my third photography video. On this video, I'm going to cover how I shoot a family session. I'm not going to cover my settings so much. I'm going to save that for another video. And then I'll probably cover a little bit of my thought process when I show you some of the shots. All right, so let's get started. And just a quick tip, I don't know if you know this, but when you store your images on Google Photos, you can pretty much do unlimited photos. If it's too big, they're compressive for you, but I really haven't had any problems with the resolution. Uh, the one you're looking at right now is on Google Photos. All right, so I shot this session in Waimanalo here in the island of Oahu. It was a little bit towards the afternoon, maybe 4 or 5 p.m., so that's why you can see they're backlit right now. Uh, as soon as, you know, 5, 36 o'clock hits, uh, that sun's gonna be gone right behind the mountains. And so what I try to do is start out the session in the green kind of forest area and then finish off at the beach because it's going to be more open. Uh, right here is going to get dark soon. So that's why I decided to start there. Anytime that I do family sessions, I always start with the whole family and I try to get that clean shot first. Everybody lined up looking at the camera. And so that way I know I have that shot and I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the session. If you notice the bottom of the image, you can see the blurred grass. So that means I'm laying down so I can get that foreground all the way up to their feet. I'm using the 7200 wide open at 2.8. And so that way I can get the uh, blurred background. And so yeah, I just start out with the real simple one. Okay, I try to get vertical and horizontal uh, shots as much as possible. Another reason that I start with the family first is because kids get tired really quick. And so I wanna get all the clean shots with the kids because eventually they're gonna get tired. They're not gonna wanna look at the camera. They're gonna start getting cranky. And I wanna get all those shots before that happens. And then after that, even after they get cranky, if you just kinda put them down and uh, and let them play on their own. You can still get some decent shots. Uh, what they don't want to do is just be in one place looking at the camera. All right, once I know I got the safe shots, and then I start doing some kind of family time together. They're playing with each other. If the kids are small, I always have like the parents, you know, standing around in the sides or the background or even sometimes the front. Uh, and then I just kind of focus on the kid for a little bit. As you can see right here, I'm still on the ground. I'm eye level to the baby here. And so that way I get a nice, uh, blurred f foreground, blurred background, there's, there's, she's still being backlit. You can see that my shutter speed is a little slow because her hand is kind of blurry. It's not so bad. If her eyes were blurry, uh, that's a bad shot. So I get as many shots of the kids as I can. On this one, I'm still eye level. And then on this one right here, I stand up or I take a knee. You can see that the light is a little bit different. Uh, I think she, uh, when she sat down, she turned to the side. So now the, s the sun is hitting from the side, which is still pretty nice, I think. You see how the foreground is not as blurry? That's because there's not a, as much foreground on this one as it was on the last ones. Now this is something that I need to get better at, but uh, just getting little details. Again, I changed my perspective. The uh, baby's still sitting where she was, but I had the parents sit on the other side. So one, they're still backlit, and two, I can kind of put the baby between them, and now the baby's blurred and, uh, and they're in focus. Once I get a bunch of family shots, then I start getting uh, shots with mom and dad and the baby separate. So you can see right here, that's one of my go-tos where baby's facing camera and then the parents facing away. I use this one a lot. They're still backlit. This time you can see the sun's a little lower. So some of the light is hitting the, the lens and you get a little bit of that flare on the top right corner. You can see it. I always have dad do this for baby because they love it. And I always get a nice smiling shot. And again, just the safe shot here. And now the dad takes a break and then I start shooting a mom and baby. And you can see a little bit of the flare on the left. I used to get in trouble for flares, but I think most people like them now. As I mentioned, this is one of my go-to shots right here. So in order to get a couple of different looks, I decided to use flash for this one. I'm not the best at using flash. There's certain poses and lighting conditions that I can uh, I, I can do okay on. Some I'm just I don't even try because I've, I've failed every time. But this is one that uh, I always use that I'm comfortable with. Them basically being backlit and then uh, putting the flash to my left or my right and then just having it blast their, their face okay just like this normally when i use flash it's on a wide angle this one right here is a little tighter but i wouldn't really go any tighter than this uh, i try to stick to a wide angle for fla flash i don't know why i just like it and another reason that i used a flash on this one is just to try to get a little bit of the blue sky in the back uh, if i don't use flash i'd have to exposed for their faces and that means the whole sky is going to be blown out so it's nice to change it up a little bit and be able to see the skies and clouds especially when you're in Hawaii. All right so this is me shooting as we're moving to the beach. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Waimanalo it's famous for having these rows of trees 
they look really nice especially when they're blurred out in the back and so I wanted to take advantage of those. Any kind of moving shot is always nice uh, but it's a little harder with kids. This time uh, it was just one baby and thankfully she was happy. So that's another shot right here. You can see the trees in the back look really nice. You can see the ocean on the right side even though it's far away and then the trees on the left. Uh, the canopy on the top nice and blurred out and on this one even though I'm not uh, laying on the ground you can see that the bottom is still nice and uh, blurry a little bit all right another walking shot this time they're walking towards me instead of away so I just is basically the same location but I ran in front of them so they can uh, they can walk towards me another thing that I make sure I do is uh, when I'm getting a shot I try to get a wide and then also a tight shot and so that just gives me a little bit more options and I just realized there's a bug flying right next to her. I didn't catch it the first time. All right, so now we hit the beach. We're right next to where we just finished shooting. The fact that it's a different background, different kind of terrain. I basically repeat the process. I start doing the clean shot facing the camera and then playing with baby and then baby by herself playing. A couple of detail shots. So once I get those shots and I try to get different poses, try to get some variety from the session. This one I had them sit down and they're actually facing the ocean with the mountains on the back. I have the flash next to me, but I think maybe it needed another element to kind of balance it out. Uh, it seems a little too, too blank on the right side. I think if I were to shift it right, so they're below the blue skies and the clouds are on the right, it would have been a little bit nicer. All right, so once I cover the family, uh, the babies, and then the babies with the different parents, then I try to get some uh, individual shots of a mom and dad. So this is dad, a couple shots of him, then a couple shots of her. With her, I realized that she had really pretty eyes. So I try to get as close as I could and try to kind of uh, emphasize her eye color their hazel look green really nice plus look it just it matches the water perfectly and at the end I always try to get a couple shots of mom and dad just together uh, I think right now I'm holding baby on my left arm uh, while I'm shooting with my right arm all right so that's it that's just my process I've done a bunch of family sessions and I found that this process kind of works the best for me it allows me to get all the nice clean shots out of the way in the beginning uh, it also gives me the ability to kind of vary my style uh, because once I, once I get those clean shots and I kind of experiment a little bit just to give you a quick summary for the family sessions I start out with the nice clean shots of the family looking at the camera I move over to the uh, family kind of playing together then the kids then the kids and the parents and then the parents by themselves and the parents together and then boom that gives me a lot of freedom uh, it gives me a lot of variety and then being able to have that process makes it easier so that every time I don't have to rethink what I'm gonna do this and that I mean uh, obviously everything changes by personality and location but having some type of a process uh, makes it a lot easier and definitely gets rid of the anxiety you get from going to a new place with new people so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your process is or if you have a process and how different it is from how I shoot a family session also let me know what you think about these videos like I said I'm still experimenting I'm hoping to give you guys some good content uh, so I appreciate you guys watching see you guys in the next one bye